What's up, everybody? Today, I'm going to teach you how to skill in, like chip in, like use like a skill implant that another player has basically, yeah. So first off, I'm just going to go ahead and say, uh, you, you're probably going to have to get it from the auctioneer or you can get it from another player, all right? So you're going to go down into the items category, and then you're going to look into skill implants. It's like right here. And then you're going to go into categories. So you got any kind of category that you want to actually pick in through. So we got combat stuff right here. So you can get combat skills, short blades, range damage assessment, anything that can help you out. Now, today we have chosen... I actually already bought it. I'm sorry. But we're going to be getting like a bravado skill implant and... And we'll show you exactly what you gotta do to be able to insert it into your noggin. Whoa. Okay. Your noggin. Oh, wait. So, that being said. So, uh, so just, just FYI, these things are expensive just a little bit. Let's take a look at this. It's like a pretty big, hefty, chunky amount. But, I mean, it's, it's totally worth it. Uh, being that we're getting them right after a skill event... Yeah, it should be nice. So, if you want to know how to get one of these things in, you're going to have to go to the trade terminal. And I believe it's under tools. No, it's not under It's under medical. Ooh. So, you're going to get the pain ink implant inserter. And it, that costs 15 Project Entropia dollars as it is. And it's true. It's very true. So, we're going to go ahead and buy this baby right now. Right now, right now. All right, so now that we have bought it, let's open up our inventory and go down to, I guess this is Mind Force. We're going to go into Mind Force. So we have our skill implant right here. And as you can go ahead and see, the Bravado skill implant is a limited. And basically, these little skill implants, people find empty skill implants off mo mobs and stuff like that. They're actually anywhere between like one or like anything between like it's pretty much worthless to like X amount. Okay, so that being said, I mean, it it, it kind of limits how much skills you can put into them from what I understand. So, but once you get an empty skill implant, if you see like empty skill implant, you have just made a little bit of money. Congratulations. Okay? <laughs> like, let's just be real here. You just made a little bit of money. And as you can see, this one's actually pretty nice, as it is 15 Project Entropia dollars worth. So we are looking out at, well, this is my current skills in Bravado, which is 1302. And we bought it for, like, mm, 291. So it, it was pretty expensive but it was it was kind of cheap too at the same time so that's why we we, we kind of bought it so let's see i guess this would be the system alerts so let's go ahead and take the skill implant and put it into the pain ink implant inserter and that being said now we're going to have a good old time because now we get to equip this just right off the bat and here we go here we go All right, so I'm going to... I'm scared, guys. I'm scared. Okay. Are you sure you want to implant bravado from this chip? It will give you an increase of 1,262 points. Your new skill will be... Oh, that's, that's a lot. Yes, I'm sure. Yeah, baby. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at what all we just got. We've gained a lot of skill and bravado. And it looks like we've just gained martial arts. What? What? It looks like, uh, yeah, we're going to be uh, beating up people. We know Kung Fu. <laughs> right on. So let's go ahead and see. We've reached level 11, level 11 in a two-handed clubber hit profession. That's cool. Uh, One-handed clubber. Level 11. So as you can see, all of our melee skills are going up. Level 11 in Whipper. Level 10 in Pyrokinetic Damage. Ooh. Or wait, that's hit. Not damage, that's hit. So it also goes in and gets you a little bit of, uh, I guess, it, 
it gives you some uh, mind force skills as well. So, oh yeah, pyrokinetic hit. And we got brawler, which is like, you know, with the punching thingies. That's cool beans, man. Level 20 in the swordsman profession. That's what's up. And level 19 in the knife fighter. Now, I believe uh, we just got martial arts, which is another skill set that you can randomly just, you know, when you're out beating things up, and you're going to manage to get some good things out of the whole deal, which is which is pretty fantastic in my opinion. So with that being said, as you can see, we still have this implant inserter thingy. You're going to just go ahead and just put it right back in there, get, get most of all your money back. So uh, there is a little decay on it, which is absolutely fine. One chip, one, one penny. That's not bad at all, guys. Not bad at all. So there, there we go. We got most of all of our money back. We got a whole bunch of new skills. We can actually start leveling martial arts. So let's go ahead and uh, take a quick look at. Well, let's look at all of this actually. So let's go ahead and open that through and through. So here we go for my attributes. Now I don't know if it raised any of the actual attributes at all, but I know that something good happened around in here which there we go bravado right there so it's always good to try to get extra little skills especially because now we have extra stuff right through here like right up there um so you know that's kind of how you, if you want to level up without actually getting out there and fighting those mobs you know, you might want to go ahead and skill in. You're going to be saving a whole lot of money by skilling in certain things. Uh, bravado kind of goes in a wide variety of different different areas for leveling up. Because everything's really kind of tied together. But if you wanted to get more specific, you'd want to try to go into, like, say if you want to level up melee, you'd go into straight long blade skill. And you'd probably find that in the combat area. You know, this, that, and another thing. So, I hope that this has kind of helped you guys out a little bit. I mean, I'm like, some people don't know that they can actually level up by, like, chipping in, skilling in. And it the cost on it, it's a lot less than actually going out there and grinding it out. And it gets you to a whole nother level, allowing you to play uh, a little bit more experience-like. Um... But if you're a brand new player to the game, don't expect to be able to chip in until you're done with being a disciple, um, which I urge everyone that just comes into the game brand new, to go ahead, try to find a mentor. You get something out of it when you complete it, and they get a little something out of it too. Um, that being said, I know some of you guys don't deposit and, you know, that just seems like a big deal. Like, oh my god, that's way too much money. I, I can't do that. Well, that that's okay. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you you you're gonna have to do do whatever you gotta do. Just keep keep doing, keep sweating, trading, and you know maybe if you get that that Hall of Fame, you might have a little bit of money left over to spend on something. So, um, if you want to just go ahead and chip in and just hope for the best after that and go right ahead. But if you are actually, you know, a, a, a regular depositor or something like that, then I would actually think that you should probably do a little bit of chipping in, mostly because, I mean, everything's in the economy. There's somebody wanting to sell this stuff because they're getting out of the game. And and that's perfectly fine, or they, they just want to, you know, get some extra Project Etropia dollars up in their bank and you know wow the dogs are going crazy oh god oh it must be feeding time guys thanks for watching right thanks for listening i think my roommate's actually out there oh wait we we we're, but we're not done we're not done oh i assure you we are not done dorky i know you're listening Everyone needs to check out Dorky and his channel. I will link it.
in below into the description area. Dorky has been working on his YouTube channel. And actually, I, I've watched a few of his videos. And yeah, he gets like a whole big mining log. He has some great edits. He actually edits his videos. So he puts in a lot of time, work, and effort in, into making videos. And he's trying to work on some of his commentary. And uh, it might be a little bit difficult for him but um, because English is not his first language. But that's pretty cool that he's doing that. But at any rate, go check out Dorky. He's a pretty awesome guy. And with that being said, I will catch you guys later on. I hope this video has been informative. And uh, I didn't, like confuse anybody so if you got any questions make a comment down below that that's probably going to be really important but other than that i'll catch you guys on the flip side right right <laughs> bye <laughs>